بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قضية امام الكاظم اقسام الدواني قسم اللغة الانجليزية المرحلة الثالثة مادة علم اللغة اليوم ان شاء الله اول محاضرة عدنا وياكم ان كتابين بهذا بهاي السنة يعني كتاب الاول هو هذا اللي اسمه Linguistics by جين اتشيسون اوكي تيتش يور سيلف هذا فقط ناخذ من عنده اول فصلين ذا فيرست تو تشابترز اوكي من نخلص من عند عندنا فصلين نروح لذاك الكتاب الثاني اللي هو The Study of Language by George Yule بلش من from chapter number three so only two chapters from this book فقط وان شاء الله راح ارسل لكم هذا الكتاب هاي عندنا المحتويات مالته وكذا واحد عايز يستفاد يقرا همين ككل كل الكتاب chapter number one What's linguistics? Okay. What's linguistics? Can cover. What's linguistics? <clears throat> First, we have to know what's linguistics. Linguistics is the study of language. Simply, to put it in this word, that linguistics is what is the study of language. So linguistics deals with what? Deals with language, any language, all languages, any language in general. Okay. So in this chapter, chapter number one, explains how linguistics differs from traditional grammar. How linguistics differ or differs from traditional grammar studies. So we have linguistics in this chapter and we have traditional grammar. We have linguistics and we have what? Traditional grammar. What is the difference between linguistics and what is the difference? I mean, what is the difference between linguistics and traditional grammar? We will see these differences. And also, we have the the main subdivisions of the subject. We have many other topics. Yeah, in this chapter, at the beginning, we have here introduction, which is about how uh, people, how they use language, how many words do they use, some something approximate. Okay, you can read it for your benefit. How and the use of the use of uh, language by children. How they learn language. And here we have language speaking, hearing, these scopes. Yes, and here we have also the same information. Uh, here in this page. Here, linguistics tries to answer the basic questions. What, what is language? Okay, we will see what's language. How does language work? Okay, what do, what do all languages have in common? All languages. What do they have in common? What range of variation is found among languages? How does human language differ from animal communication this is very important and we, and we will see this in chapter number two how does a child learn to speak well, in chapter two this how does one write down and analyze unwritten language why do languages change to what extent are social class differences reflected in language and so on okay so this is the job this is the job of linguistics, and linguistics tries to answer these questions, and we will see. First, we have to know what is a linguist. يعني معناته بالعربي عالم اللغوي. Linguistics علم اللغة. A linguist يعني عالم باللغة. So what is a linguist? We have here a definition of a linguist: a person who studies linguistics. Okay, a person. Who studies linguistics? Linguistics is what study of language. It means so. It means what a person who studies languages. Okay, so a person who studies linguistics is called what is called a linguist. Here we have another term, linguistician. Okay, we can say that linguistician is too much of tongue twister. So you can say a linguist or linguistician. Yeah. 
here we have the explanation for the term linguist okay maybe it means what it means that speaker uh, a person who speaks a large number of languages so linguist is in the in the sense of linguists experts need not be fluent in language these are the characteristics what are the characteristics of linguists okay you have to read about the difference between a linguist and a teacher yeah shouldn't forget been in lugawi will mudarris english teacher for example this is very important maybe it is not found in your book it is not found in your book about the teacher so you can search it dawra shufa bil internet okay and i will explain something about this so linguists is in the sense of linguistics experts need not be fluent in languages okay so this is number one linguists what they don't need to be fluent no need to be fluent in languages but if we come to english teacher do do they i mean do they english teachers i mean english teacher do they uh, need to be fluent in english or not or they there is no need to be fluent of course english teachers should be fluent when they speak english but when we come to a linguist no no need to be fluent just uh, he or she i mean a linguist uh, knows something about language i mean about the fluency of language though they must have a wide experience you see they must have wide experience of different types of language so a linguist does not need to be fluent in languages okay but they need to have what a wide experience of different types of languages but if we come to an english teacher english teacher what needs to be fluent in language or in languages or english language but he doesn't need to have wide experience of different types of languages okay no need just to in english he has to have experience in english not other languages you see here the difference it is more important for them to analyze so what what the, what do they do they what analyze analyze and explain they analyze and explain linguistic phenomena for example the turkish vowel sound okay this is as example they go to turkish language and they want to what analyze vowel or english vowel sounds or consonant sounds they don't need to what to be <coughs> fluent in english they speak english fluently okay to have perfect english skills speaking okay or or or, or reading or writing or even um uh, listening for example or german verbs or arabic verbs for example okay than to make themselves understood in in istanbul or berlin so they don't need <clears throat> they don't need to be fluent they just what they need to explain analyze a phenomena for example sounds verbs prepositions in english or in any other language in german in in, in, in arabic language turkish language etc so they are what <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> they they here refer to what refers to linguist linguists so that they are skilled okay this is very important they are skilled objective observers you see they are skilled trying to yes they are what skilled Ob objective observers objective okay objective يعني موضوعيين not subjective objective observers they observe rather than participants okay they are skilled objective observers rather than participants consumers of languages rather than producers you see in english time in english for example english uh, teacher you can participate 
uh, uh, producer, but the but linguists know they are objective observers. They are consumers of languages rather than producers. This is very important about linguists. <coughs> Here, as as if it is a note, mulahadha inside a linguist in the sense of someone who analyzes or analyzes languages need not actually speak the languages they are studying okay and I explain this point I explain this point in detail <coughs> here we have an example about a linguist linked to a musologist okay musicologist he's like a musicologist musicar <تصفيق> الميوزيكولوجيست هذا الشخص اللي يخلي الـ 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 يعني آه الموسيقى يخلي الموسيقى could have could analyze a piano concerto by pointing out, by pointing out the theme and variations harmony and counterpoint okay but such a person need not actually play the concert a task left to the concerto pianist. You see, this is the difference <clears throat> between, as I said, between language, between a linguist and a teacher. Okay, here, musicologist is similar to what? Similar to a linguist. Musicologist, what does he do? He or she do? They just analyze piano. Who plays the piano? Many as if piano pianist. And then the job of a pianist, the pianist in Martin Menina is similar to whom? Pianist is similar to what? To a teacher. Okay? Teacher is what? Producers. They produce language and the pianist is the same. They do the same. They just what they, they play piano. But who analyzes language? Who explains language? A linguist. Who analyzes a piano? A musicologist you see here just example to show how they are different and how they are similar <clears throat> here we have the same question in, in at the beginning of the chapter of the first chapter how does linguistics differ from traditional grammar what is the difference between them <clears throat> You have to know that linguistics as a science علم, is, is a new age. It is in the, the modern age. Okay, in the modern age. 100 or more than 100 years ago, it was, uh, it was um, come to, or it came to light one, maybe more than 100 years ago. So it is something in you as a term, as the name, as a name, Kaysen. But traditional grammar, so واحد يقول مثلا استاد ذا linguistics it is new. يعني قبل مئة سنة مئتين سنة تلات مئة سنة كان عندهم linguistics do they have linguistics or not? They don't have as a name they don't have linguistics but they have what is called traditional grammar. They have grammar, grammar. Okay, they have grammar. But linguistics is a new term. So it was grammar, traditional grammar. واحد يقول يمكن يسأل سؤال question. Okay, يعني يقول قلت لد استاذ إنه linguist is قلنا a linguist, a linguist, a person who studies linguistics. Okay, who is interested in linguistics. قبل هما أنتم هذا مصطلح linguist, linguist, يعني traditional grammar. No, they don't have. Because English then, بالأصل, they don't have what? They don't have linguistics. So what do they have? They have grammarian. Grammarian. You see? Grammarian. Annahawiyun. Grammarians. Grammarian. But now they have what? We have a linguist. Now we have a grammarian, but it doesn't refer to, gram uh, to linguistics. It refers only to grammar. When we say he is a grammarian, it means a person who studies grammar. 
who is, who is specialized in grammar. But in, in the old times, in traditional times, when, when you say a grammarian, it means who, who is what? Who is specialized in, 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 in everything. In, in, what, in, in what is called now linguistics, because the grammar is part of linguistics now. We will see the different types, the different, different branches of linguistics. Okay, this is just a note. So it is in all the school, here, how it differs, what is the difference? It, we have three or four differences. First, first, the first one, and most important, linguistics is descriptive. It is descriptive, not prescriptive. Linguistics is descriptive, while traditional grammar is what is prescriptive. What is descriptive? We will see. Linguistics are interested in what is said. What is said? I may be mature. And my call. It what is said, not what they think how to be said. Okay. Linguistics are interested in what is said. What people say. To put it in other words, they are interested in what people say, what persons, what individuals in the society say. Okay? Not what they think ought to be said. They describe, linguistics, they describe language in all its aspects, in all its aspects but do not prescribe rules of correctness, okay? They describe, just describe language in all its aspects, but do not prescribe rules of correctness, okay? Here we have this insight, we have note. Those who work on linguistics describe languages. They see, Junior describe language. They do not dictate how to use them, okay? They don't impose people they don't tell people that these are the rules okay and you have to follow these rules they don't go to people and they tell them to follow certain rules no in other words or in other sense that they what they just record what people say okay what people say not what they ought to be said Yes, this is just information. You can read it, read it again for more information. Here we have example here about, for example, ain't and ants in one in one pants. How it is different, how they record it, how they recorded this. Okay, so here, when if people say ants and ants in one spans, linguists is considered important. Considered important to record, as I told you. They record it. What people say. They record the fact. Why they record the fact? Because they are observers. Remember, as I told you they are objective observers are recorded not judges they are not judges this is very important okay this point is very important they are what observers they go to people and listen to people people say ain't people say ants in one pants this is an idiom mustalah ants in one pants yani namil hada namil dude واحد بالبجامة مالت يعني واحد يقول دودو بجامة هذا هذول الأشخاص اللي اللي ما يقعد بالبيت مثل الأطفال وكذا okay this is an idiom we we have it in in, in Arabic okay you can uh, search it or or you can know it uh, so here for linguists they what they observe and they record but they don't judge أبد مو شغلهم judge my guru, they don't say that this is bad, we should not say this, we should avoid ain't, we should not say ants and bans. No, they just observe. This is very important, as I told you already.
Also, we have here another example how to say different from, different uh, to. You see, in my school days, okay, you can read these examples, they are very important. Okay, they listen to people. People say different from or different to, or like to, sorry, I like to on different from. Okay, they, for example, listen to that and they say that, see that some people say different to, some people say different from. Okay, so. They say that people say so. Okay. What is the purpose behind this? Is that they want to tell, I mean, those in the course, they want to tell us that we record what people say and we tell you that these are the things that are said by people and we don't put any rules for them. The notion of absolute unchanging correctness is quite foreign to linguists. Linguists, they might recognize that one type of speech appears through the whim of fashion to be more social acceptable than others. But this doesn't make the social acceptable variety any more interesting for them than the other varieties or old words and any better. This information is very important. Okay. Here, this doesn't make the socially acceptable variety as acceptable because for them matter of correctness correctness they correct I mean those traditional grammar is they correct but but with linguists they don't correct okay they don't correct people why because they just it is not a matter of acceptable variety the lack of couple and yeah, no, tradition grammar they correct for people why they correct for people they correct for people in order to tell the people that this is good this is bad don't use this and use this okay and we will see this to linguists the language of pop singer you see here example to linguists the language of a pop singer is not intrinsically worse or better than that of duke you see for linguists, what uh, language is not bad, but I mean, worse or better. This language is bad, this language is good, this language is better than this, or is worse than this. No, for linguists, they don't have, I mean, for them, they don't have anything like that. No language is better than any other language. Each language has own system. Each language has own rules, okay? But we will see that for uh, traditional grammarians, they think that some languages are primitive. Primitive, yani bida'iyya. Are primitive, okay? Uh, uncivilized. They are worse. But for uh, linguists, no. They criticize, in Tugdo, they criticize grammarians. They tell them that this is no. They not, they write that what Grammarius said, what Grammarius wrote about language is wrong. This is wrong. No language is better than or is better or worse than other. Each language has own system, its own rules. Okay, we for them linguists they say that we are objective observers. We are objective observers. We just observe. We don't judge. We don't judge, we just observe. They would disagree strongly with the Daily Telegram writer who complained. Yes, this is an example, you can read them more and more. Nor, nor do linguists condemn the coining of new words. Okay, no problem to have a new words. This is why for linguists, okay to have a new words because language is what? changing and goes changeable this is a natural and conscious process not as a sign of dictates other why come to love how the dictates you will tariff not a sign of dictates you can actively have tariff out a linguist would not with interest rather than show fire to bad malumat the linguist would know it with interest and the interest rather than horror. 
the fact they, that you can have your hair washed and set in a gloroma, this is just an example, another example. Okay, I will finish with this. Thank you so much. We have second and third and maybe fourth or second and third. If you have any question, if you have any point, you can comment. We will have another explanation and uh, another uh, lecture about the same thing. Online, it will be online. Talab. If you have any question, any point, uh, any discussion, okay, be ready and I'm ready for you. Thank you so much and good luck.